It was the wrong time to, to, to express myself, you know, but uh, that's, you know, we all have our own opinions, we all have our own feelings, and um, I feel like uh, we are entitled to them to just, you know, you try to pick and choose the, the, the time to do it, and we choose to share with, because uh, some may not understand where you're coming from, which is to be expected. Um, only, I feel like it's the wrong time because it puts my team in that situation and my coaching staff in that situation. Um, I have a great relationship with Steve Kerr, um, and he knows that. He spoke to you guys about it. You know what I mean? Uh, but even his words still may not be, someone still may not believe him. But he and I are in a great place. We don't even have to speak about it because he knew that in uh, no way, shape, or form was I talking about him. Is that the part that, of the backlash that Kurt maybe he didn't like the most and that people thought it was directed at Steve? No, I don't. I, I wouldn't say that I was hurt by it uh, because, uh, you know, I've been in, worst situations. I've been in similar situations. Uh, I've experienced through my life, so that's why I feel like I can speak out on it, because I've been through it. Um, so from, th from that perspective, you just learn. You know, uh, you continue to learn about yourself, you continue to learn about your others, and uh, you adjust or you just continue to put things in perspective. Just to be clear, was it just about frustration about the schedule and having to come back and go back and, and guys needing no, rest? Uh, you know, I would just... You know, you have a conversation uh, with a group every single day, and you know you get they, they're, they're thrust so so much into your lives. It's almost as like you have a robotic type of mindset. You know, so you can have a mentality uh, of past or present. Uh, you know, groups of people, or generations. You can feel similar, not the same, but similar. And uh, you know, you speak up on this, you know, the same routine and, and, and this kind of grind and. Uh, May not, like I said, may not have been the right time or the place to speak on it, but uh, you know, it doesn't change the way that someone may feel. And I feel like that's what everyone has to respect. If someone feels a certain way, you know, you can't say that they're a bad person as long as there's no prejudice and as long as there's no uh, no ill intent towards anyone. When you say inside joke, I mean, is the joke kind of on us? Is that sort of what's what you're getting at when uh, when you talk that way? I mean, you, I, I like to have fun with you guys. Uh, I, sh I shouldn't say fun. I like to play mind games with you guys. Um, but it still doesn't take away from how someone may feel. You know, a lot of guys may feel a certain way, but they don't know how to express it. But I may have chosen the wrong way to express it. But, you know, that's my way of, my personal way of, uh, you know, getting back at you guys a little bit, you know. Did you hear from people who were offended by your words? Um, you know, I, I talked about that with my wife as far as what the word offend means. You know, because I think I offended someone when I went to the golf course yesterday. You know what I mean? Because I just took a rest. I just rested the uh, last game for San Antonio, and I, I feel like someone's offended that I went to play golf. So, you know, you kind of live in a world right now where, you know, our team's such so much in the, in, in the spotlight, and there's such a microscope on us as players that, you know, any given move can offend someone. So you can't live life, you know, trying not to offend anyone. You just can't live like that. So you were golfing yesterday, and you got a look, or you? I should have been resting. Right. Feet up. Yeah, I should have been resting. But somebody said that to you. I just should have been resting. <laughs> but is rest also mental too? I mean, just because you're not with your feet up, is that just getting away from the game equally important? Yeah, you know, um, the year we won a championship, uh, I think golf was uh, our ally, you know, uh, and we spoke about it, so everyone was like, go to the golf course more. You know, but when you lose a couple games, uh, you know, it's a different lookout, you know, up on it. So. But that's just, you know, we all, as players, we understand that. Uh, that's something we had to to go through, and that's part of the job. And, and, and uh, part of being successful at it is not letting it affect you or uh, being a distraction. Steve just talked about the benefit of, of the situation. I mean, this is the first time you guys have lost three in a row in a long time. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know, the game, everyone's game started to slip a little bit last year, but the wins masked it. Exactly. So do you do you think there is a beneficial side to this? Because outside of this room, everyone's panicking, or on Twitter, they're panicking. <laughs> Right, and, and it's the same thing, you know, it's, it's almost like as if you're looking for something uh, or anything to to uh, be the cause, and, and you get away from what it actually is, is just playing basketball, executing, doing the little things well, uh, you know, looking for other guys to step up and uh, collectively 
uh, making up for KD being out. Uh, all those things affect the basketball game. And, uh, you know, we always look for a different factor to be the reason. Uh, case in point, you know, a comment that I felt or made, uh, you know, we lose another game, and that's the reason why. So, uh, but I've always said that. I've said that the last two or three years, that um, the talent that we have, Losses benefit us more than anything because uh, it, it takes us back to the fundamentals. It takes us back to the small things that help you win the basketball games and, and, and ultimately will help you win the championship. It just builds, it builds uh, good discipline. How different is the bench this season? You kind of, kind of reformed it with when Durant got here. Uh, just how is it different, that bench? Uh, we're, we're adjusting. Um, I've, played, I've been playing really well lately. I felt really good. Sean's had his moments. Uh, Ian Clark has had his moments. Uh, James Michael McAdoo has, hadn't played a lot or at all early in the year, and then he's been, as of late, playing more, getting more minutes. He's been really effective. Uh, and, and David West as well, before his injury, he, he was really giving us significant minutes. Uh, and then we talk about JaVale. Everyone says he's kind of, you know, um, re-energized his career. Uh, so everyone's had good moments at good times, but, you know, we're working to bring it all together and everyone playing confident and playing at a high level at the same time. Uh, because, you know, there's been times we've had slippage and we haven't been able to hold leads or, or, or continue to expand them. That stretch, I mean, the stretch you guys just endured, was that pretty frustrating that you guys had to come back here and go then to Minnesota and then to San Antonio? And you know, Steve addressed it a bit ago. And it, well, me personally, I don't mind it because, you know, you, you've uh, every player in the history of the game has had to go through it. Uh, maybe not so much early on because there weren't as many teams, so it, was much, it wasn't as much crazy travel. But, you know, I'm always looking at Michael Jordan, who's the greatest player of all time by far. And I say he went through some grueling schedules and some, you know, some broke down shoes, uh, not as good technology, you know, wasn't as good as planes. You know, meals might, have, might not have been as good. Uh, got some privacy, though. That might have helped his <laughs> thought process. But um, those guys went through it, so I feel like uh, – you got to kind of honor the game, the, the true essence of the game, which is 82 games, and you just kind of figure it out. You know, um, you know, sometimes you have the luxury to rest guys, uh, and we've, we've had the opportunity to do that the last couple of years. So um, it's, it's just kind of bit us right now. We just got to work our way out of it. Do you regret making that comment? Uh, regret? I, what's the regret mean? I'm still trying to figure that out. you hadn't said anything in public manner? Uh, I, I wish I wouldn't have put my teammates and organization in that situation. Uh, but like I said, it doesn't change, you know, how I feel about certain situations. It's just you can't give certain people power, and I gave certain people power. So, you know, uh, like I said, live and learn from the situation, uh, you know, and, and move forward. Thanks, Andre. Thanks, Andre.